Did you know ChatGPT could help you come up with digital planner ideas and even help you design it? So I'm going to ask it three different questions. First, to list 20 different planner ideas. So I'm going to choose a reading planner. So now I'm going to ask it to come up with a detailed list of all the pages in this reading planner along with details. So I really like some of these ideas, reading log and reading goals page. So for the final question, I'm going to ask it to generate a table on how that particular goals page will be displayed in the planner. And it will generate a table with the actual content inside. I'm also going to ask it to create a table for the reading log as well. Then you can actually copy everything in that table and then bring that over to Canva and then we could start jumping in and creating the actual planner page. I opened an eight and a half by 11 document and now under the elements tab, I'm going to select one of those table elements. And the original table had about seven columns. So I'm going to add a few more columns to even this out and to extend the number of rows, just select that bottom right cell and keep clicking tab and it will generate as many rows as you need. Now resize the table and then select the top left cell and bottom right cell and click paste and it pastes all of the information from ChatGPT. Now I'm gonna go in and add a title to my page and then also update the fonts and the colors. Then I'm going to copy the content for the reading log page, duplicate my first design and add a few more columns, then paste that content into this new page. Keep in mind I'm using the paid version of ChatGPT as you can see, the free version doesn't actually add it into a table. You could still copy them individually and add them into your table in Canva. So now we're going to jump into Canva and create a cover. So I love creating AI covers in Magic Media. So I prompt it to generate watercolor flowers and books with no background. This way I could have a graphic where I could remove the background and add it as my cover. Then I went ahead and I just updated a few different colors and added that little border to the top. Once you've added all your pages, just save it as a PDF standard and you're good to go. Make sure to follow for more comprehensive planner tips.